Then I get another call. And I, another call now, just, and somebody says, uh, Sam, Jack Ma would like to come to Kenya. <laughs> and I get a call from somebody uh, in Switzerland, and then I get another call from Caroline, Caroline. Caroline Motoko. Yep. Saying, Sam, Jack Ma is coming. I was like, okay, yeah. So I had breakfast with Caroline. And Caroline told me, this is what is happening, this is why he's coming, and this is why your name has been floated. And I was like, yeah, very grateful to Caroline because she really just, at the back end of Jack Ma's visit, Caroline Motoko organized a lot of things, especially the media part. Dude, all of that. you know, we're the ones who did the digital for that. Exactly, I remember. And it's because we're doing Caroline's thing. Yeah. So it was so weird because Patrick Kwako was like, no, I don't want to use my team. I want to use your team, Caroline. Yeah. And that time we're doing Caroline's digital. Yes. That's how even, in fact, Derek here who's behind the camera yes. was the one filming, which that was such a, a fun opportunity yeah. to see that. Yeah. Caroline has the, had such a big role to play. In, in the whole process, which was a really big part of them, you know, the whole cogs that were moving. Yep. Of course, Mukisa had the biggest role to play yep. in Jack coming. I did not know Jack, but Muk I knew Mukisa from previous connection. Mm -hmm. um, and so, and there was also somebody else. You had, you, you had, gone, you had uh, attended an Umtad festival? No, never. So where had you met Mukisa? It's because a long, you knew him. It's a long story. I okay. met him. He was, my father-in-law used to report to him. <laughs> so okay. When, when, when we lost my father-in-law, I met him. Okay. Yes, okay. During the burial. Okay. Yeah. So. Um, and did you connect again after that? No. Now we were connecting now when Jack's visit. Okay. Yes. But you know, when people visit, it's just a visit. Mm. It's such an it, it's an Instagram moment for you. Yep. And you should either choose whether you want Instagram or you want business. And I had gotten out to a point in my life where I was like, I'm done with this whole Instagram of moments with people. I want outputs. I want real outputs. I'm tired of just being seen with pictures with different people and I'm still broke. I'm still hustling hard. I'm not broke. When yeah. I'm, I'm from an average Kenyan, I, if I say I'm broke now, I'd be offending people. Mm. Um, but I'm still trying, right? Yes. I'm not rich, mm. but I'm able to pay for my bills and things. Anyway, so, so, so I decided to invest in Jack's visit. I go ahead and I spent 700,000, I think, Kenya shillings that we did not have as a company to spend to decorate the room, make mm. sure Jack's experience is good. Because I know at the back of my mind, he will come, he'll take pictures, he will go, and that will be the end of it. But I wanna make this experience, it will work for us in terms of mileage, in terms of attracting new contracts and things like that. Because we survived on, a lot on contracts. Mm. Teaching businesses how to build business is not the same as building business yep. yourself. I mean, yep. like, it's a whole different mm. aspect. And this is why I did build a school later on, to take all that knowledge and now apply it. Okay. Anyway, so Jack comes and he walks out of the lift and he says, I've heard so much about you. And I was like, yeah, me too. I've heard a lot about you. <laughs> <laughs> We're like, what else did tell a billionaire who's on the news every day? Like, he says, I've heard so much about you. I was like, yeah, I've also heard a lot about you. you now my confidence is also, you yeah. know, has grown a lot over the years. So I'm not intimidated. And I say hi to Mukisa and I walk in. And we talk with Jack and talks, I introduce him to entrepreneurs and he has such a good time. He tells me, do you have more entrepreneurs to speak to me? I said, yeah. I'm like, go find me more entrepreneurs. Somebody <laughs> found me more entrepreneurs. It came. Dr. Mukisa Kitui. These are the young entrepreneurs. Uh, thank you very much. Yes. Um, some uh, ladies and gentlemen, last year, September, with the support of the sisters of some of the most powerful people in the world, I managed to get uh, Jack Ma to be a special envoy of UNCTAD for youth and small business. In that act, he becomes the most, uh, the most expensive employee I have ever had. <laughs> <laughs> with the status of an Assistant Secretary General of the United Nations. One of the main things that made me look for Jack, and I shared with him over two years of things at Davos, at the World Economic Forum, is not the is partly the story he has to tell. The tenacity of saying falling is ordinary, rising after a fall is what takes genius, what takes guts. And that in the reality of the marketplaces, most small businesses have high mortality rates. Very many businesses fail. But how would you keep trying again after it has failed? 
that narrative I thought needed to be told to the world. Thank you very much. I just this is my first morning in Africa, and I'm expecting this day for a long, long time. Well, this is the best gift I've ever got from Dr. Kutui. That this morning talking to you guys reminds me of my early days, and I see from your eyes, from your heart, what you tell is the passion, the inspirations, the dream that you have. I remember 1995 when I came back from the states. I, I visited the USA for one for 29 days, and I discovered the internet. So I came back to China and say I want to do something called internet. But there is no such word called internet before, and there is no such word called internet on the dictionary. So the comp the government does not let me to register a company called internet. Since I had no background on technology. Know nothing about computer. Even to today, I know very little about computers, because I don't think you have to know anything before you do it. The great thing I see from your eyes that I know you don't have a lot of know-how, and those people have a lot of know-how don't want to do it. The entrepreneurs, you start with a dream, you start with a belief, and you also have to start with a group of people believe the dream. Everybody. When you have a dream, you have to dream globally, but you have to win locally. You have to survive today, but you also have to think about the future. If you do not think about the future, if you do not have a vision for ten years later, what will you be? You will never have a great people follow you and join your company. And then the second thing I prove, try to prove, is that if Jack Ma can be success, succeed, eighty percent of the young people can be successful. And this is what I tell every day to myself. Today is difficult. Tomorrow is much more difficult. But the day of tomorrow is beautiful. Most people die tomorrow evening. Don't complain. Where is the opportunity? The opportunity always lies in the place where people complain. If you solve the prop complain, you got the problem. You got an opportunity. This is what I believe. I think the very important is that. Making sure your dream can be realized, making sure your dream makes steps by step every week, every month, and making sure that your employees believe it, making sure your customer are happy, because your if your customer happy, your employees are happy, the shareholder will be happy. Do not try to spend a lot of time with your shareholders. Spend enough time with your customers. Spend enough time. With your employees, you can be crazy. Your people cannot can be crazy, but you, as the as the founder and CEO, you have to care your colleagues. Only when you care for the colleagues, your colleagues will care for your will care for your customers. That's what we do. Wow! I guess that deserves a standing ovation, guys, because we're coming to the end of the session. You have a baby elephant that you can take care of for a year, probably just right next to me.、Uh, his baby, baby Mbegu. Baby Mbegu. You will receive emails from us and from the David Chadwick Foundation about the growth of the baby elephant, as much as you'll hear the news from this country. On behalf of this ecosystem, you have a baby Mteto. Oh, baby Mteto. Baby Mteto.、Mm -hmm. That's your baby elephant for the next one year. You receive email updates、uh, through Jason or yourself, and you will get to know how the baby elephant is doing. It's a David Chadwick Foundation. If you ever decide to come into the country, just go there. Say, I want to see my baby, and you'll be shown what your elephant is. That's、baby. great. Yeah. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you very Thank much. You. Really appreciate. It. Thank you guys. Thank you Thank very you. much. Okay, I also give you a gift. This is、uh, Alibaba Dao. We call it small is beautiful. Yes. And small is powerful. Great. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you so much for do, you supporting all these entrepreneurs. There are a lot of things I can learn from you, and we can do、oh, together. Thank you very much. Honor. And then he asked me, "What does it take cost you to run this place?" I said, "About five hundred thousand dollars. You know, not even a million dollars, like five hundred thousand dollars." So he said, "Okay." Turns to one of his guys, say, "Just note that down." I'm like, "Okay, fine." We go now to the main hall.、Mm. He does the video you see. You know, like, he does all that. We take photos. He goes away. They go away. Done, done. Just as I predicted. End of conversation. 
Now. <laughs> I like that. Da, 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 da. This is a moment that I chose to follow up. After about three months, I said, hey, uh, any feedback from that, what we talked about helping us run? I didn't even phrase it as, you, like there was no promise. I just phrased it in a manner that sounded like they were obligated to help. Like, would you like? They're like, no, no, no. Right now, we're not interested. I was like, there was no interest. So you write to Jack Ma, Jack Ma's team? Yeah. Okay. So anyway, I wrote again. Um, and then one day, I wrote twice. The first one was not responded to, I think. The second one was responded with no interest. I think the third one was, was let's have a call. Hold on. When you got, okay, I understand why you wrote the second one. The first one was not responded to. Mm. So maybe you're like, maybe you didn't get a spam mail. Hey. To do the response you get. Much so, easy. No one can mail the response. So now, now the second one, when yeah. they said not interested, what? No, not ready for now. They, no, nobody says no. Okay. Yeah. They say, they put in a yes. position where it's a no, but, but it's yes. not, yeah, it's not clear. So what made you then ask again? Now the third time I was just like, how are you guys doing? How is everything happening? And you know, if you, if you remember that conversation, it well comes back up, let me know. So this is almost a while, right? Mm. The guy goes like, oh yeah, I was just actually thinking about it. Can we do a call? By the guy, you're talking about Jack Ma? No, he's chief of, he, he's international. Oh, yes, yeah, yes, okay, okay. Pri- private assistant. Yeah. I say, okay. I get the car, we drive around Nairobi because I don't want to stop somewhere in this call. And I give my ideas and I give my feedback and I give me, and then it goes like, write a proposal. I wrote a proposal. In three days, I sent it. He said, okay, we will think about this. Now, remember after Jack left Nairobi, he landed in Kigali. Mm. When he landed in Kigali, he said, I'm going to put $10 million to invest in Africa mm. in front of Kagame. Yep. He was not impressed by the Kenyan government, I think, that much, as mm. much as he was impressed by them. Then the, 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 the government in uh, Kigali set up a team to follow up. Mm. Okay? Now, I don't know this yet. Me, I'm following up in Nairobi as <laughs> I'm the government, <laughs> our neighboring government is following up as them say. Uh, yep. The government yep. is following up. Yep. Sam and the government. Sam versus the government. <laughs> I learned this story later. It was so funny. Um, anyway, we have this call. This guy, uh, this guy um, calls me again. He says, you know what? Um, we are thinking about seriously about doing this. So let me know. I said, you know what? Don't worry. I am, uh, I'll come to China. Now I don't have money. Bado kumi aribika. Hii biashara ima kuangumu. Watu wa juwagi wafikiri ya kukona do throughout. Ile pesa serikali ya 1.4 to Maliza na tukaran biashara na tukaran business. Yeah. This is why when you call me, I was like, bro, I'm not there yet. Yeah, I'm still I, figuring yeah, this out. Yeah. I flew to China with no money. And then I had meetings with them. And they said, hey, listen, we'll give you this work. But we don't spend money on administration and operations. What? So you can, you will do this one work at cost. Like you will cost for me one person, two people, three people, how much they are, they are paid. And then you will cost uh, your trip to this place or your event, yep. and then we're paying exactly that. Yep. No, you know, not markups that could mm. Took me two days in China. I was really down. It was put me really because I was like, I don't know more. So I got to clean up. If you chapa biashara, guys, you're alone. Chapa biashara, or back in a profit. Of course, I mean, like, of course, as a, as a, I mean, if you ask me again, I wouldn't say I was broke. You want assets? Yes. With my savings, and I had mm. a lot of stuff happening. And so, anyway, I, I remember the decision was. Do you, so let me just tell you this one. I'm going to repeat this one because it's important. Mm. So I get an offer that we will not spend on administration. My question was, can you intern for Jack Massa? <laughs> That's what you're asking yourself. Because it's internship. Yep. And for people who get pissed at it, it's unpaid internship. Because I'm all going to make money. Mm-hmm. It's unpaid in that sense of corporate and paid. Yes. Because as a company, we need to make a profit. Mm. So we ran out of cash. I tell, I call a meeting for my staff members at some point and said, Kilam to Lazma Katwam Shahara, do to survive. And then I didn't. I cut out myself and then everybody remained at their salary. So initially. So mean you catch koyo hit yao yote. So So my point was, what will happen when we work with Jack Ma? Reputation. Validation, Shoot out the roof. Credibility. Yeah. All that stuff. 
tukachukua job na tukaichapa bro kumesota dude hold on that time when i'm coming to meet you we are discussing video strategy nini nini yeah. nini uh, what we can but i'm telling you yeah. cuz me in my head i'm like jack ma is got that 10 million forbes me andika <laughs> jack ma chooses nile to manage his 10 million dollars what am i assume ile do me kwa bank account yangu ni ka mimi ni garagari mimi nimepata job ya kufanya <laughs> KYM KYM mm. nifanye job na mimi nachukua nimesema nitafanya and you're doing this across africa across the continent okay let's talk about your criss crossing around this because you said you, you had okay what was the role you had to get mobilize create partnerships across the continent mobilize entrepreneurs from every part of the continent have them apply shortlist from ten, tens of thousands down to 10 So Thousand first and foremost you have to go to 10 different countries. I went to too many. I to, have to be in to, every part of Africa. To mobilize mm. and Can, find partners, local partners yeah. that can help us in the region. So that's what I did. Flights cheap, couch, ukonyuma, nini hotel cheap. So we did that with my team and we kept on just tra- transversing across the continent and mobilizing. And and any moment of time why while, while you're trans going all over these places, do you connect with Jackma? Oh yeah, he called once, they called once and say hey, um he wanted a meeting and we're like okay sure then he's like um let's meet in Johannesburg. I was like okay. Sio jo my best wangu ni besa mtukutane usiku tana java. Sasa mzani ambia I fly out of the country to meet you. I'm like what? Sasa jo kwa level mzana kwambia go let's let's meet in Monaco. Na sina do. Ah, and so okay, when date ka kwa set, alafu sio set so solid. So we una buy ka ticket ukijua unaweza ka move kwa sababu yeye anaweza change mind. Ni kadu kwenda Java, sasa nasema tu mitication bala leo. So tukajipanga panga. Na na hii as a private plane, wewe ukana nini? Wewe usha wewe lazima mimi nilipanda ndege ile to Rwanda ya. Acha nikwambie kama unaenda South Africa, u avoid. Sababu ina stop hizo juma rande. Nairobi, Entebbe, New York, Rwanda, Sudi Zambia. Hi, and he had so many stops. The ma- so number of stops and take up you know take offs were so many mm. like four julia budget pia iko budget ni tight eh alafu ukae wewe ume book 3 days we meet half an hour ay 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 which ended up being 2 hours in me so come meet na yeye kwa room to so now you get to job bag you 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 yeah. face to face yeah yeah across the table strategy discussions so now hold on say si at unaongea kana ile let me show you around let me tell you what to do no, no. it's work you work. now you're okay mko na kalamu karatasi laptops presentation i may make na walk through he's like uh, so where do we do our first event I say for now because you already visited Kenya and you already visited South Africa let's do something in West Africa. I propose Ghana stable government, stable this, stable this Nigeria too congested at this point probably maybe in a future date or whatever if, mm. if you have really whatever. So it was Nigeria, Ghana, you know discussions na eh asema I know the president of Ghana, let's make it happen <laughs> in Ghana. You guys go to Ghana and organize that. Not down visit to Ghana, mnaendelea anaanza ku break down how do we do this? How do we do this better Sam? How do you understand Africa? Break this down for me. So And he was like, what do you think? Some things I'll go and say, I'm like, that's crazy. I remember we're supposed to be crazy, man. And like, well, what's, what's that mindset of his when you say, that's crazy? First of all, I'm a show up job. He's the richest man, I think, in China at that point. He shows up for a meeting to discuss strategy, location, who are you going to work with? Event it akuwa aje, structure me the event, let me see. Kutakuwa na lights, kutakuwa na dancers, kutakuwa na nini. Anataka hizo story. What? Mashika. Ako involved. Anafanya job na ndika notes zake hapo hivi. Ako involved sana mkisema kitu upuzi anasema that's stupid. Let's try that again. Ako involved. Si wati ana delegate. So this billionaire mindset that you're seeing ni kazi. Wako yeah. job. Ukisema kitu iko expensive sana unaona wewe unafikiri yeye ame fuel 20 milli probably. Uh. I don't know how much ana fuel for one trip but mm. ukisikia una anakuambia hata vitu vingine wame na that's too expensive. Pia yeye anaangalia expense based on yani hasla ana mm, expenses mm, zile ziko. Mm. Alikuwa I'll come straight up. He's a straight shooter, speaks his mind, very crazy, very he thinks in a different place, like the place that most of us want to think. He thinks in that place of the dealing impossibilities as ikai mob kwake. In a career at a conquer to. That 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 presence in that mindset must have been insane. Oh, yeah. What did he do for you? Again, sitting with sitting with him and and his people was just Anna Barrios za isle experience and I could do. It's 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 g- 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 gashui would you feel the humility? Yeah, the by the way, I mean I'm, I'm in a room with this guy who presidents are trying to meet. Me I don't want to put instructions. Nikambua 
anybody below level like taka ku meet kwa sababu ataku email waambie hivi anybody above this level ufanye hivi <laughs> so kuko kana prime ministers of different african countries and all these deputy president vice president wako na email oh i can so imagine ina baki ama unapigwa simu unakuwa unabaki sasa una afford ama unakosa can a minister waambie it's not possible sababu alikuwa na come through me kujaribu ku reach off yake so that thing of reputation you began feeling it immediately mm-hmm. you started working mm-hmm. and then also okay there's hey, this jack ma conversation there's a lot of things that are in my mind mm-hmm. so number one i want to understand the workload because now remember when in turn it means leo ko kenya i mean jobag mm-hmm. next day ko kigali next day ko nairobi like niliko hivyo day to day niliko na lala kwa ndege nilitoka Nigeria nilikuwa judge wa tech crunch Nigeria mm. this rap nikaenda Egypt nikaland Egypt asubuhi conference ilikuwa 2 o'clock afternoon in a, in, a, in a town Sham El Sheikh i think that's mm. the name of the town nikapanda ndege Egypt asubuhi kwenda conference ku represent e program tuka meet na huyo mse ule sasa ule mse nilipi uh, chief of staff ya yes. tatu naza tumkona yeye sana yeah, yeah, yeah. yes sasa tukakutana naye huko tuka hang out na yeye the whole day na conference nini tuka meet strive tuka muongelesha tuka convince kwa judge unajua story tu around yeah 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 sasa niko hiyo place niko place you anyone you want to meet in the world now you have to tukio hivi kwa room na jack aliuliza unataka nani ya kwa judge kasema elon musk barack obama kamba kasema kana okay who, are you going to call them Yes, yeah, 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 okay, uh, Barack is coming to South Africa, as you know. And uh even ndio kuna ndaga. This one this one is probably too busy. Had you, had you ever been in a place where suddenly the whole world anything that you want is accessible? And I don't mean anything that you want from uh give me 10 million, but no. I was in a place where now the I I probably just had a glimpse of what it look it feels like to be super powerful and rich. Uh-huh. And that it was no different too different from my sharonga to be honest mm. hey, I, I, mean, like, i mean like ata ko your influence pale ronga chief of okay, your influence okay. uh, uh, it's just an extension of that same influence ukiangalia okay, because you expect it to be magical and nini just the same way mna pigiana na maboys wenyu ndio wao pigiana hivyo the lesson mean you take up on yet this guy is not looking for new friends mm. already friends work and wala alimeka kiwa myang I get it. Wala wanajua na hivyo. Mm. One of the things I realize at that level is I stop trying to make friends. Do business, maybe friendship can happen later. Mm. Be very clear about your needs for business because a lot of people try to make friends with people they consider successful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mambo hizo wangu wala nko na mtaani ndio mabuyu wangu. No, I'm a dem wala nko grow up now they are my friends. So it's really hard to introduce somebody new and trust them at this point because okay. so nika notice hivyo nika pull back pia mimi. I realize to draw those lines off. Oh, this is this, this, yes, yes, I get it. Because we, we do try a lot. We send emails, we send text messages, we are friendly now to our passive, passive mm. uh, we yep. perceive them to be successful because we want to be friends with them, but those people are not looking for you as a friend. Mm. And I'm talking about depth of friendship. I'm not just talking less superficial. Yes, yeah, 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 yeah. Na talk depth of friendship lot na ongea 3 years to kitaka kushutiki. It's a depth of friendship na meet. Alafu kuna hii superficial na Joanna mna. They they try that depth and it's not. So I, I learned that was one of those things that stop trying to be friend billionaires just work mm. it is important and now the work again let's go back to the work because i'm trying to understand the scale that this guy works at first and foremost africa is the way us guys are doing biashara in nairobi him he looks at africa as nairobi that's a very important part another thing i've forgotten a lot of these lessons because another thing was to see the continent from a bird's eye view sisi na yonaga unajua hata nafikiria Nairobi ni kubwa. Ati yo watu watu wake control Nairobi. Nini nini sasa hivi? There are 54 cities in this continent. Unaweza hama tu moja na bado uko sawa. As in like usibaki tu ume Nairobi ni gishagi. Sije gaya kitu inashikashika watu hapa. It's a small place in the global aspect. And the people who really make it successful is that they see it that way. Mm. They they see it as a they see the similarities between Nairobi Lagos and Abidjan and yep, wherever yep, else yep, and yep. they see and they take advantage of those opportunities. It was very interesting to put a map in front of him of Africa and discuss Africa as if it was just a place we could go anywhere anytime. Mm, 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 like mm, pick mm, a country. We can start here then we go this way then we do this way yes. 
nikao una pick route ya kutoka hapo hivi kwenda Westlands <laughs> yeah unajua yeah. just that vision like whole aspect of seeing something as doable stop you know stop you having these limitations in your mind i have too many lessons and i wish i'd written them down so they're more articulate yeah no no you are articulating them very well but i was to articulate my lessons for jack ma was work because he came for the work two or what you just said see these things from an, an an angle an aerial perspective that you can you don't get limited by your own imaginations mm. of where you can go and what you can be okay i mean three be daring because I, i was hesitant to ask for certain people like who do you want as an influencer i mean there's acorn was on the table lupita was on the table you know a trevor noah was on the table like i didn't get worried about mentioning names and going through the names that we could find i, I you know I I had such a good experience mm-hmm. uh, and also just being knowing that this the, the the being that rich doesn't mean you don't work you delegate everything. Yeah. Him showing up for work, him doing the work, him being very hands on hands on but also very smart in knowing and carrying information and questioning things. You know, approving small things that I thought that should be given other people to approve. Him looking at that amount of detail. I think has now now I feel like I've been shaped I'm sure there's got more lessons ahead mm. but that shaped me along. At the end of the year I was angry. If I was going to ask did yeah. that burn you out? Did it burn me out because your business yeah. first was, of all you're crisscrossing the continent. My that business was still not doing well. We're running out of cash and I'm angry because I don't remember why I made this decision. Because I'm thinking bro, I mean like I should have made better decisions where cash is concerned. But I have I have done this almost like charity. Anyway, and, and Kenyans are looking at yeah. you like you're hanging out with a billionaire. Yeah. And then something happens when people assume you're rich in Kenya. Number one, suppliers stop giving you discounts. <laughs> they automatically don't want to give you discounts because you have money. It's on the newspaper. Mm. Right? But the money is not in my account, but I can't start explaining that to you. Other companies start poaching from you. Uh-huh. Because they feel you have the Midas touch and so some of your staff members must be very good. Your team must be good. And now these people are being offered more money than uh, you yeah, can yeah, give yeah, them. Yeah, you yeah, don't yeah, have yeah, the money yeah, yeah, yeah. newspapers again. <laughs> right? Whoa, Number three, whoa, if you have a personal whoa. problem, you can't have people bail you out. At that same year, my dad was diagnosed with stage 4 cancer. Uh, I tried yeah, to get raising on Facebook. My mother raised more money than I did. And I have 30,000 followers on Facebook and I thought I had a lot of friends. So personal personally people assume you have money so they don't come through for you because they don't know you're going to See Uli the Jack Ma bro Sangapi That hapo ndo realize No no hapo ndo realize kwa nyisi my best ni biashara and ka wewe ukibaki na mashida mobu you need to be cut off so that this business goes on right Yeah and there was a lot of these ripple effects of of being in that relationship but the other side of it was that and also you made a you like you people you become a big target for people mm. people who, who don't like you people who mm. feel like you know people people always have issues one or the other kapengelo luko say mtu aujuagi wanaanza kukuchapa sasa na mayai sasa so they want to make sure that they paint you the way they want the world to see you yep yep and especially somebody like me who still half an introvert and half an extrovert in a sense because i like to keep myself mm. a lot until when i'm required to do something like this and tell the story like so um so, on the flip side though um, on the flip side there's there must be a certain attraction that also comes a positive attraction that also comes just because of that what oh, has yeah. been written so yeah. i'm sure it, it enables some of your goals like Indeed. internationally they looked at if jack ma can trust this guy with 10 million shillings locally people just want to talk to use internationally there are a lot of people who come through okay and i and i'm sure we'll get there yeah okay yeah. <laughs> man so, this needless okay hold yeah. on we'll get there but i you need to eat bro so to kuna kamenu hapa to ingie kwanza